construction. Crap. work here welcome back to the bench I got some fun today this is my radical 300 blackout upper this weapon is free and clear got this thing on sale from radical firearms for three hundred and nine dollars but that included the bolt carrier group and the charging handle as well as this 15 inch rail I had been looking to build one of these and I took the opportunity to go over this upper a little bit we'll start from the front and work our way back up front we have a 30 caliber standard a2 flash hider it doesn't do a whole lot to reduce the recoil but this is an AR platform so you don't have a whole lot of recoil to worry about in the first place next up is the barrel this is a heavy barrel model I was quite surprised about that when I first got it. I didn't notice it until I ordered it. Really, honestly, I didn't care what kind of barrel was on it, if it was a heavy barrel or an A2 profile. I was just excited to get a blackout upper for the price that I got it. But I'm happy it is a heavy barrel model. Working back the barrel, we have a pistol length gas system. I will primarily be shooting supersonic rounds out of this rifle. It is a hunting rifle, and I do not have a 30 caliber suppressor. And unless you're suppressed, there is pretty much no point in shooting subsonic 300 blackouts because it basically has the same power as a 45 ACP. But the pistol length gas system is there just in case I do get a suppressor and want to rub subsonic rounds through this. We'll have enough back pressure to cycle the bolt. On the outside of the gas system is this 15 inch rail. This is supposedly M lock compatible, however, I don't have any M lock pieces to be able to try it out on, but they're oval so it looks promising. Along the top is a full monolith rail that lines up nicely with the upper. Getting back to the upper and the bolt carrier group, my one complaint about this upper, it's a minor complaint because really it's a tool so it's not that big of a deal. However, the finish on it has a slight purple tinge to it. Not that big of a deal, except it contrasts pretty badly with my flat black Anderson lower. I'm not sure if on camera you can see the difference, but it is enough to the naked eye that it draws attention. It comes with a standard mill spike dust cover, a standard bolt carrier group, and a standard charging handle. Now, for $309, you would think that this upper would be relatively bare bones, but no, it does have a forward assist on. The fit and finish of this upper is great. Fit on my lower perfectly. Being mill spec, I would expect it to. I was surprised at the comfort and the weight of it. Doesn't weigh that much more than my UTG Pro Super Slim 15 inch rail, which is relatively impressive. And good because I'm going to be hauling this thing a long way to be able to take it out into the field. Let me show you a little bit of shooting with it and then we'll cover how it shot afterwards. So, as far as recoil, the 300 Blackout doesn't have much more recoil than a standard 223 round. It is slightly more due to the heavier projectile, and the fact that this has an A2 flash hider rather than a compensator on it, you do feel the recoil, but it's not enough to be impactful in any great way. The cycling is nice and smooth, however, it is slightly dirtier than my 223 rifle that I have. At 50 yards on a front rest on my shoulder, I was getting 1 to 2 inch groups. At 200 yards, I got about a 2.5 inch group, but again, that was on a front rest with the back on my shoulder and a 4 power scope, and I'm not that good of a rifle shot. I do have the Barsco 1 to 4 scope on it that I unboxed on my channel. I'll put a link to that here. And the scope did a very good job at 50 and 100 yards. And although 4 power is a little bit difficult to get a good sight picture on a sighting target at 100 yards, I was still able to hold about a two and a half inch group. And again, I'm not that great of a shot. Now, I don't have any rapid fire shots with this particular upper. I didn't have the camera running that day. However, I have shot this rapid fire and it reacts very well. Both muzzle rise and recoil aren't that much worse than a 223. So overall, it's very similar to firing a 223. You're just lobbing a 30 caliber round instead of a 223 round. So to sum it up, for $309, you get a 15 inch rail with a heavy barrel and a bolt carrier group and a charging handle. 
That's almost unheard of these days. This rifle, all in all, minus the optic, was built for under $500. So these uppers from Radical will allow you to do a budget build and still have quality pieces and components. I would absolutely buy one of these things again, and I may. They have great 223 offerings in different rail lengths and setups, all for between $300 and $450. So give them a look and see which one works out for you. And if you find one that works for you, I say give it a try. That's all for now, and until next time, remember, do your research, get informed, and get to work.